Brett Mateo Alderson, uh, examiner.com, fightfanation.com. I'm here with uh, heavyweight contender, French contender, Manny Casada. Uh, Manny, uh, do your career's been going good. Uh, you knocked out Travis Walker last summer. Talk to me about that fight and your win over Travis Walker, especially after the tough fight he gave Areola and almost knocked out Areola, and, and you came in there. And, and yeah. talk to tell me what happened in that fight. No, it was, you know, we were expecting a, a tough fight, man. And uh, towards the end of the end of the round, we, we wanted to finish the round hard, as, as everybody does, you know. At the round's gonna finish. Everybody wants to end it, you know, with a good combination or a good flurry to to try to win the round. You know, it was kind of a close round, so I let my hands go and I ended up catching him with a good left hook and uh, overhead right. To was that a first round knockout? I remember seeing that. I was a little yes. sort of surprised. And Walker can punch. Walker, oh, yeah, I mean, he beat Jason Estrada. He's really, I mean, I, I think he's better than a lot of people give him credit for, don't you think? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I have nothing to take away from Walker, man. He's a great guy, great fighter, you know what I mean? And I don't, I don't look too much into it. You know, Chris had a tough fight with him. Uh, I don't look too much into me taking him out earlier than Chris or anything like that. You know, I, I just, I was able to, to land a good punch and, and I was able to get him out of there. Uh, well, he came in at 229 for Chris. He came his career low ever. Yeah, yeah, you know. no, definitely, definitely. So but, I, I don't. But think it was still a good win for you. I mean, yes. especially over a big, super heavyweight like that. Yes. I mean, he's a big man. He came in at about what two forty nine for that fight, uh, something like that. Two thirty nine, two forty nine, something like that. But he was a big guy. Definitely. Now you have had a high ranking in WBC, really high. Um, have you been trying to capitalize on that? Have you been looking for a big fight to try to maybe push a title shot or something? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, I'll, I'll fight anybody, honestly. I, I, and I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything. I'm, I'm just confident. And, you know, there's a lot of guys out there that say they'll fight anybody. And then when it comes down to it, they, they don't. But uh, if anybody knows me, they, they, they'll know that I'll fight anybody. I'll get in the ring. And if it don't work out for me, it don't work out. Are you with Goosen? He has Tony. Matt, Tony's begging for a fight. You know, if Tony, let's say he beats you, he could get maybe a high ranking and get a title fight. Why don't they guys put, and you too, man, that'll be a big win for you, a big name opponent, uh, commercially market, you know, commercially marketable opponent. Why don't you guys set up a Tony fight between you? Goose's uh, boat works for both you guys, so. Yes, definitely. I, I, you know, honestly, I, I don't know the answer to that. Um, I would definitely, you know, be honored to fight a guy like James Tony. And I'll definitely take that fight, you know. So if it, if they what about a fight with Chris Arreola? Would that you take that if you offer that down oh, the line? Yeah, like Chris I said, by Adam Mack. Yes, I'll, I'll fight Chris. I'll fight Adam Mack. I'll fight anybody. And, and you know, matter of fact, Chris is a good friend of mine. His trainer as well, Henry. And uh, like I said, I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything like that, but I I, I just feel confident. And like I said, if if this is the sport and the career that I chose, then let's do it. You know, I'm willing to fight anybody. Honestly. So you're saying you're looking for a big fight right now? I'm looking is for a big it? fight. Anybody you don't care? Fight? You really? No. Yeah. Really? Let's what do is it. Uh, what are about your amateur accolades? How how extensive was your amateur background? No, no amateur bo uh, background in boxing at all, whatsoever. No. When was your last loss, uh, Manny? Uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? I believe it's been five years ago, four and a half, five years ago. Yeah. No, you're on a win streak, man. Kind of caught a lot of people by surprise coming up and, and winning some other some big fights, right? Yes, definitely. So. But you know, it's just the hard work that you put into it, you know, it pays off, to, you know, at the end. Okay, well, hey, thank you for the interview, Manny. Take care, yeah, man. Yeah, thank you.